Hey, what's up everyone? So I'm back again with another pod review. Today I got the uh, Marupi Amarella from uh, Ford's Fiery Foods and Plants. Looking forward to uh, giving this one a try. It is a uh, much, much milder <laughs> variety than some of the supers that I've had, specifically the, the chocolate Maruga that he's growing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this bad boy open um, and see what we're working with on the inside. It is a uh, Chinense from Brazil. Um, and there's some Supposedly very prolific, um, specifically in northern Brazil. So, let's see what we got in here. Not really much oil. It's got a, I'd say like a citrus type of aroma. Some darker seeds in there. Uh, low seed count, but that's kind of consistent with the pod. Um, there's only a few. Um, it's pretty small. I'd say it's about an inch and a half long. Um, a little bit bigger than the uh, uh, Clavo Reddit did the other day. But there was two pods. This one, this one was fully ripe. The other one is still uh, about a quarter green, so I decided to go with this one. Um, I've already got some pictures of the inside, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put it down. So this is the Marupi Amarella. Very, very, very fruity. This is like, I would say, I say like SB7J taste. So like, up among the the best tasting peppers I've ever had. Very, very fruity. I mean, it's got some, <clears throat> it's got a little bit of heat to it too. Right now, um, I'd say under the tongue a little bit. Uh, a little bit of a burn, uh, it's stingy, vice the uh, even heat burn. Hmm. Really, I just I can't really. I love that flavor. It's so fruity, uh, almost unique. Uh, not typical of a lot of the Chinenses. Um, no citrus, no bitterness. Uh, very pleasant. I mean, it's, I mean and then the, there, there is a burn. I, I mean, I can definitely tell that I had something spicy. Uh, a little bit on the tongue. <clears throat> uh, I would compare it. I've had jalapenos that are hotter, but I've never had jalapenos that tasted this good. <laughs> uh, uh, so, so it's supposed to have about, I, I'd say, like a, what what this website and the research has showed me was that it is uh, supposed to be about 60k. Uh, as far as SAGs go, um, I say it's pretty good. Uh, definitely a little bit of a burn still on, on the uh, bottom of my tongue. I wasn't expecting some monumentous, huge, huge hot pepper, uh, but the flavor's kind of gone away. But it's left like a pleasant aftertaste in my mouth. Um, and like I said, there was no bitterness or no even no green or underripeness taste to it. Um, in large quantities, I think this would be really good uh, to make it, in making into a sauce. It, I mean, to be honest with you, it would be a pain in the tail to de-seed and prepare. You'd probably need three to one, uh, three of these to one of a normal size pod. When I say normal size, like a normal super, or uh, that's even hard to kind of characterize. I'd say you need about three times the amount of this to, uh, for whatever recipe that you would make. From a, uh, for a sauce, um, it probably would be good in, in a powder. You just need a ton of them. Uh, that's that's the kind of the, the, the problem you're going to run into with these is, is the fact that it is such a small pod. Um, I, I bet you there is some. There probably is some variation on the plant, so you probably get a couple of larger ones. But anytime you're dealing with a smaller pod, it's just a pain in the tail to um, to prepare and to use. But if you put the time and the effort into it, it'll definitely uh, pay you in dividends. It'll be very very good. I know in Brazil they preserve these in a whey, or they um, they make like a pepper relish with them. Um, you can I mean you can Google Marupi um, uh, Marupi pepper, and you'll see a couple websites that are selling um, a lot of them. They're supposed to be the, the uh, they say it's the best tasting and hottest pepper in Brazil. 
Um, I, I, I doubt that for as far as heat level, but it is um, up there with uh, uh, with with uh, the best tasting peppers I've ever had. Uh, and and like I said, sometimes I've said before, sometimes the heat isn't required all the time. Um, if you got a really good tasting pepper, uh, it could be definitely pleasant, and, and it can be used in a lot of applications. Um, this is where something you might, uh, if you really wanted to get this flavor and bump up your heat level, you can use some sort of a, like Pure Evil would be a good example. Um, if you're going to put the time and effort into de-seeding and preparing all these peppers and you want to make a sauce and you want to get that flavor but you want to bump the heat level up, use something like that where there is really no flavor to it but it just enhances the, uh, the heat. Or you can just throw some of these into your salsa or into a salsa and then put a couple drops of that Pure Evil in there and that'll probably uh, <laughs> light you up pretty good. But um, really good pepper. I enjoyed it. Uh, I'm not going to cut away and collect my thoughts because it really wasn't hot enough to, uh, to, to make me think twice. Um, the Marupi, uh, Marupi Amarela, or sometimes you can just find it as a Marupi. Um, check out John Ford at uh, Ford's Fiery Foods and Plants .com. I'll leave a, a link in the, in the description, and he's going to have like seeds and plants and stuff come March for this. So uh, get yourself a, a starter, a starter plant. So it'd be pretty good for uh, packing into the box. So another good packing pepper, and then a, it, it might might also might also be uh, worth the time and effort. They're supposed to put off tons and tons and tons of pods um, so I'd say overall I'll give it like tier f I only give tier 5 heat tier like a high tier 5 I've never given anything tier 5 as far as heat level that's like almost nothing but it's almost nothing in my opinion um, tier 1 flavor though it's it's amazing as far as flavors goes and I think that it produces a ton of pods so I'd say tier 1 um, uh, production so Overall, a solid pepper for uh, for what it is. Uh, definitely uh, one to add to the grill list if you uh, have room. So uh, thanks for taking the time out to watch. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them, and I'll see you again next time.